back in last lesson we discussed what is BIW uh, right now we are going to discuss various BIW commodities so you can see uh, the complete BIW can be classified under these sub elements uh, one is closure and remaining is body shell less door uh, why less door because already doors we are accounted in closure itself so you can see under this um, closure there are doors the front rear bonnet and tailgate so all the openable elements uh, the elements which can open and close are treated under these closures under this uh, body shell less door obviously there is under body structure then there is upper body structure and there is front end structure so basically uh, if we ignore or keep closures aside the entire biw is divided into under body upper body front end uh, obviously the under body is front floor rear floor and firewall uh, upper body structure includes body side outer roof sill cant rail body side reinforcement roof cross members and uh, front end structure includes front longitudinal, front shock towers, front end carriers and front bumper ar armature. So we are going to discuss all these things details uh, shortly. Then uh, the next slide is obviously front uh, door and rear doors. You can see uh, this is the front door and this is the rear door. So which is shown in color that is a clear cut. Uh, illustration so main important function obviously to allow the access for passengers to enter into passenger compartment and come out of the passenger compartment so that is the most important function uh, obviously door is the opening in which we can enter into the car and come out of the car uh, ergonomically considering door opening is important factor because if the door opening is very small it, it is not so comfortable for passengers to enter into the compartment and we have observed that many cars have very small doors small openings and people feel it difficult to enter and come out of that car some cars are very high so it is not comfortable so car companies take extreme care in designing the opening obviously uh, allowing access is not the only uh, function of the doors second important function of door is to protect the passenger in case of side impact uh, what is side impact basically suppose the car is going on uh, on the road and some other vehicle hits the car from side just take example of cross section of highways so a car is going and some other vehicle like truck or whatever hits the car from side so in that particular scenario the door is the member which protects the passengers and car companies take uh, care while designing the door uh, they provide some stiffening agents, stiffening elements, reinforcements in a door so that door will not allow the intrusion of other vehicle inside the passenger compartment. So that is uh, another function of door and remaining functions are you can see here there are many uh, secondary functions like uh, you, you need to provide some recess for bottle holder, there are some speakers, there is uh, some mechanism to open and close the window. Uh, basically uh, there are mechanisms for central locking locking system uh, outer lock and uh, there is some requirement to fit the interior trims so all these are the functions of front and rear door and obviously the uh, the function of front and rear door is same so again same thing whatever i discussed for front is same and again that will be uh, replicated in rear door as, as well so again i will review the situation it allows the entry of passenger compartment for passengers and second thing it protects the passenger in case in case of uh, collision or side impact and third it holds uh, various elements like uh, glass it holds the speaker it holds the bottle holder and so on so these are the important uh, functions of doors i'll go to next slide basically uh, bonnet obviously the most important function is the of the bonnet is to protect the and close the engine compartment obviously that is what we are using it but that is not the only function obviously bonnet is the main aesthetic member what does that mean is that bonnet plays very important role in aesthetic of car that is the looks of car if bonnet is not given proper shape that can ruin the shape or look of that particular car so car companies companies are uh, taking much effort in designing the bonnet another uh, function of bonnet is to allow good or to achieve good aerodynamic capabilities so the shape of bonnet decides aerodynamics uh, the shape of bonnet decides the air drag uh, 
and because of that the aerodynamics is hampered. So, that is important factor and again uh, secondary functions include uh, in some countries it is mandatory to place the airbag for passenger uh, pedestrian the person working on the road then again it holds the windscreen washing nozzles and so on. So, that is the important function of bonnet. Uh, second is tailgate and uh, deck lid. Uh, basically, the function is to uh, cover the luggage compartment. This is the rear side door you can call. So, to cover the luggage compartment. Again, it plays important role in aesthetics, uh, the looks of car from side and you have seen that many cars look very beautiful from rear side. That is because of this tailgate design and how intricately designed the tailgate is. You have seen that practically. Uh, again, it ac opens the access for uh, luggage space. So, you can have access through this lead only. Uh, one more function is again safety related. It protects the passenger in case of rear collision. What is rear collision? Obviously, if car is sitting at idle or car is going on and some other vehicle which hits the car from rear side. In such scenario, this is the member which protects the passenger in, in such particular accidents. Uh, secondarily, it also helps in aerodynamics because you can see this is not main function because front bonnet is directly in contact. But to the some extent, uh, tailgate and deck lid also plays important role in aerodynamics. So, this, this was all about closures. Then I will go to next slide. Uh, you can see this is body shell less door that is under body. Now, what you can see here this is the front floor and this is the rear floor. The front floor is to support the occupant load. Uh, main function is obviously to transfer the load uh, because the seats are directly connected to these under body structures and all the weight of the passenger is transmitted through this particular uh, members to the main body. Uh, then these are the mounting points for the seats. Uh, this supports the carpet. Uh, again, same thing for rear. And you can see I was talking about, uh, okay, that I will discuss in next uh, particular slide if it is somewhere there. This is the front uh, underbody front structure. This is the firewall. You can see whatever this is shown here is the firewall. This is the member which separates the engine compartment with passenger cabin. And obviously, the main important function of this is to avoid transmission of heat of engine and vibrations of engine to the passenger compartment. Okay, because if this member is not there directly engine will be in connection with passenger compartment which will may not be comfortable because hot gases and vibrations will come and which will not be comfortable. So, this member separates the engine compartment with passenger cabin and this absorbs the noise vibrations coming from engine and this is important function for comfort of your car. Car companies apply a coat of insulating material for that you must have seen in your car there is one black uh, fabric mat which is uh, fitted to this that acts as a absorbing material for vibrations and heat okay then we'll go to next one now you can see uh, upper body structure body side outer you can see this is the outer structure uh, this is again outer structure the function is outer structure is again to aesth aesthetics uh, and this provides the stiffness uh, in because uh, the weight of the car, weight of the passenger is being transmitted and this uh, body side outer will take part in that load transmission. Again, this is the, the these are the members which are protecting the cars in case of uh, rear side or uh, side impact accidents. And next is roof. This is the roof. Obviously, the main function is to protect the passengers from environmental elements like rain, sun, wind and dust and so on. But uh, security wise, safety wise, the main important function is to protect the passenger in case of rollover. Uh, see what happens if roof is not strong and in case of rollover, the passenger may get crushed between the deformed roof and car. So, that is very dangerous situation and because of that normally uh, roof is provided. Now, just pause this video and can you just guess how much load the roof should take so that it will protect the passengers. You can pause the video and answer this. How much load roof should be able to sustain so that even in case of rollover there is no crushing. I hope you have searched the answer. You just search this answer. I will go ahead. Then this is uh, seals and cant rail. You can see uh, this is the cant rail. This is the structure uh, which connects uh, to which the roof is connected and this, these are the seals. Again, the main function is in stiffness, safety. Uh, 
this is the supporting member which uh, takes actively in load transmission then next one is side reinforcement you can see this is the a pillar i was talking about this a pillar uh, this is the b pillar and obviously there is c pillar here which is not shown here and there is d pillar if the car is suv then th there is d pillar the function of abc pillar is again uh, to protect the passengers in case of rollover and in side impact then uh, this was all about lesson number two uh, we discussed about various uh, commodities of biw and that's all from today's session in next lecture we will continue with our discussions thank you